Last week, the guys tried their hand at making a homemade drill for the air water system. But once again, our tough desert ground proved to be too much for the drill to penetrate. Now it's time to get tough. Bryson stumbles into another type of drill, and he's ready to get going again. All right, this is my test of a percussion drill, and it's where you take like a really heavy pipe and you drop it. And it's got like a one-way valve in it, and it collects dirt and crushes up the earth down below and collects it up into its cylinder. And then you pull it up and you dump it out and you continue on drilling down. Did you tie a knot in it? I tied a knot in the end of that rope. I'd let it go. I'll get out of the way. Yeah, I could whip some more. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? about that. What do we do now? Grab a hook. Uh, it's a four and a half inch pipe. We're building a one-way check valve, actually. A one-way valve so that this is, the, this is the bottom of it. So when the mud hits, when we break up rocks and stuff, all those little pieces can fall into the one-way valve that will be inside the tube. It is the most heaviest piece of tubing I've ever carried. Next time you carry the pipe, Karen. I don't necessarily have a giant tractor to go and, and pull this thing up and down. And then Donna, we will have a small tractor. Well, I could use that to lift a smaller rig up and down to kind of do that same concept. And so that's what we first did originally. I'm going to send down the well to see if we can break some stuff up loose. It's 130 feet is the well. We are ready for a show. I have my chips all prepared. Ducks in a row. Hello, look. I don't know. Come here and look. What kind of dirt do we have? A bunch of rock chips. Something's happening. Down there. Them. All right. Here's what we got out of the well. There's actually some more chunks over there. And then it kind of got in a little monotonous and a little bit scary to have that cable come flying in so fast. To came up with a different system, I welded and wired and hooked up a motorized system to the back of a lawnmower tractor. The plan is to use an old tractor to take the belting that is on the mower engine and extend it out here and weld a frame to hold a spool that in fact has a pulley on it which goes up into the well. When you engage the blades, allowing it to pull it up, and then when it's done pulling up, disengage it. It would loosen the belt, which would allow it to freely roll, and it would drop it safely. Oh, yeah. We cut off like 200 feet of meal tape. I think it took about three days for me and Bri to braid that entire thing. I would sit there and I would braid it and then he would be on the other end trying to straighten out the ropes. It lasted a, a really long time actually. We saw this little line feed welder and it was like less than a hundred bucks. Then I had no idea that it would be so cheap. My first welding experience was a small go-kart that uh, me and Bryson put together. Got in the welder like a day before and just couldn't wait to get out there and really just start welding. Yeah, it was just it was just a blast to get out there and make something. An enormous amount of educational value really came from that one purchase. You ever welded with this before? Never. But I've done it with the other welders. So. We had we welded a loop to the end of our mechanism. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. We're gonna drop this free. Push for it, grab it, pull it up, up here and drop it again free without any rope on it. We're thinking, well, what if we just dropped it and then sent a rope down there to retrieve it back again? 100 feet away from the ground, when that thing hit, you could feel it. Whoa. It was amazing. You'd drop it and it'd be like two seconds or something, and then it would hit the ground and just like boom. Like, that doesn't break something loose. I don't know what. <laughs> I can feel the ground shake from over here. Really? Okay, then what are you going to do, bye? 
we're gonna fish for it. Uh, we did that for a while until it kind of got stuck down there, and we're kind of like, uh. It's so jammed down there. There's this uh, guy, and he's an old well driller, and he's like, oh. you know, it's not so much of a problem of getting things down, it's about getting things back up. Oh, oh so. my gosh. Grab it, grab this right here. I don't think I can grab that. It is 100 pounds. You can, dude, you can. it's 100 pounds. Oh, but, oh, I'm gonna lose my finger. You put your hand in there, Bryson? You're yeah, gonna take. lose a finger. Sounds like a gunshot. <laughs> My manly strength after all pulled this out. Your manly Stop. strength is really manly there, Karen. Of the three types I've tried, the one that worked the best was the mechanism that rolled it up. And it's because there was no whipping around cables, there was no trying to retrieve something down in the well. It just worked the best because it was all contained. The water level was 122 feet when the neighbor Rick last checked it. Water level at 129. One year later, it's 129 feet. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! That is totally different color. Now it's time to see if the guys have deepened the well. The well is about 133 feet deep. The well is now three feet deeper, but the water level has fallen seven feet. It seems we're moving backwards, but stay tuned next week for the conclusion when we get some surprising results. For more information, you can click the website link below. Thanks for watching!